today I have the Jazz Minor X4, the newest Ethereum and Ethereum Classic Miner in the market that was just launched in November and I got it via express shipping within 7 days. So today I'll be unboxing it and showing you how to link it up to the Ethermine to start mining. As most of you already know, mining Ethereum is super common in Singapore and we mostly use GPUs to mine, including myself. But using GPUs consumes a lot of electricity and generates a lot of heat. In comparison, the X4 only consumes 240 watt but produces 520 MHz per second. To put things into perspective, you need about 18 pieces of 1660 Super to give you about 550 MHz but it consumes 1500 watts which is more than 6 times of what the X4 needs. So I got this X4 slightly more than 15k but in terms of ROI, I'll put it slightly under a year. And as many of you know, Ethereum 2.0 is coming, so this will make the proof of work of all GPUs and ASIC miners obsolete for Ethereum mining. But according to the latest update, Ethereum 2.0 is delayed, so you can still use the X4 to mine Ethereum and then Ethereum Classic after Ethereum 2.0 comes. Okay, so to start using this miner, you need an Ethernet cable. And a 220 volt power cable. I'm also pretty sure that some of you may have read about the rumors regarding the Jazz Miner X4 claiming that it is a scam, there is nothing in the black box, just a few noisy fans because there's no way such little power consumption can result in so much uh, hashing power. But you have to know that Jazz Miner also announced a press release. And I will leave a link down below and you can read up on it, but I'll just give you a little summary. Basically, Jess Miner invented a new generation of high throughput computing power chip. This chip uses 3D IC technology. And the computing and storage unit are integrated on the same chip and so the intercommunication path is shortened, resulting in an increased bandwidth. The Jazz Miner X4 is. So now I'm going to test out the intake and output temperature. So the intake air temperature is about 26.3. And the output is about 35.5. Alright guys, so to set up the miner, we have to first find the IP address of the miner. Today, I'll be using the advanced port scanner. Once you're in the port scanner, it will show you all the IP addresses of the devices connected to the network. And you can see here the Jazz Miner X4. Once we find the miner, we will need to change the mining settings so that it will mine into my pool. To do that, you have to simply log into the admin page and go into Miner and change the pool information. Both the username and the password is root, R-O-O-T. I have been using Ethermine since last year and it has worked super well for me. So I'll be trying to use Ethermine today. You just go to ethermine.org, select the region closest to you and copy paste into the Miner setting page. So easy! The work address is basically your Ethereum wallet address. For many of us, we worry about the proof of stake POS when it comes to Ethereum mining, but it has been proven again and again that the POS may not be here as soon as they claim. I mean, just look at the amount of delays and that the initial launch date of Ethereum 2 was back in 2019. If everyone else is buying up GPU rigs to mine Ethereum, Raven or other coins, I really don't see why the X4 is not a good buy. Given its low electricity consumption, high returns and the amazing technology behind its new chips, I think it's one of the most efficient Ethereum and Ethereum Classic miners out there. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Stay tuned for my other unboxing videos.